Well, welcome back to Red River Living. Uh, as you can see behind me, we've gotten our trailer back from the welder. This is going to be the second part in our series on restoration of our trailer that we went down to Jacksboro and bought. Um, we're going to kind of walk around a little bit and show you some of the work that the welder did to get the trailer back in operational order here. Up here on the door area, on both sides of the doors, he went in. This was, had a piece of pipe in it. He replaced this with a piece of angle iron across here on both doors. He uh, replaced this and welded this part back up in the doorway. It was pretty rotted out also. If you'll notice up here in the front, this front like kick pan across the front, he totally welded in a new piece of metal across the front up there on that piece up there. So that's just a whole new piece of metal. Back here in the back on the inside, you can see here, this piece of channel iron here, he replaced the back wall in this channel iron. And then about every eight to 10 inches, he's welded that top and bottom back in here to stiffen this part back up in there. You can see up here on this piece here, this piece was added in and he did the same on both sides here at the bottom of this plate and welded that in, and that's a solid weld all the way down the top side of that piece right there. Stiffens that up. Underneath here on our springs, on this A-arm right here, um, Mike noticed how wore out these brackets and pieces were, and he went in and replaced these on both sides also. One of the uh, pieces was actually cracked almost all the way through so and I had noticed they were pretty wore out but Mike since he had it there went ahead and repaired this part right here so now we're in good running order and I think at this point we're probably really good shape as far as getting up and down the road we still gonna work on our tires but now we're gonna start doing some cosmetic stuff to the trailer Things Mike noticed right before he was he called us and told us the trailer was ready and he called me back and he said Mike I just walked by the front of the trailer and I noticed that there wasn't no safety chains on it so as you can see here Mike went in and welded us a nice bracket on here that's quarter inch steel and then went by tractor supply and picked us up our safety chains so kind of get us in safe working order there about to get started on the prep work for getting ready to paint it hopefully by this weekend um, we're fixing to start grinding on it trying to get rid of the rust it's a lot of it's just surface rust now and we're just going to try to knock the surface off of it just so the paint will adhere to it and hopefully last a little bit longer today and I got a little help right here today he's underfoot he was just glued to me so he's gonna have to run off in just a minute got my safety glasses a little mask to keep the dust out of my face and we're about to get started Well guys, we've been at this for a couple of days now. As you can tell, we're right in the middle of this grinding and sanding, getting it prepped for a paint job and everything. It's Thursday and we're hoping we can shoot paint by Friday or Saturday afternoon maybe. But we're right in the middle of it and um, just trying to get it looking good.
done sanding for the night, I'm going to take the air hose and kind of blow out some of the cracks and stuff, just get some of the dust off of it. guys we're on day four of working on the trailer and as you can tell it's dark again because our time management is not very good so Mike is about to do muriatic acid and we'll show you the process so what we got here is this muriatic acid we picked it up local at our tractor supply so what Mike did was put in a pump sprayer and we did half, half, half water and half muriatic acid. So as you can see there, it is actually eating the rust away. So that's what we want. So we got the muriatic acid on. We have let it set there for about 10 to 15 minutes. And now Mike is gonna go and just spray it off with some water. And we'll see how it turns out. Guys, we've gotten done with the trailer outside. We've got it sanded, muriatic acid. We've washed it down. We let it dry right now. Tomorrow, we're expecting high winds. Um, winds capable of us not being able to spray outside. So we've bought us some plastic and we're running some string. We're gonna kind of make us a tent, a paint booth inside the shop and try to contain the paint best we can from getting all over everything. And right now, I'm just running some string Jerry and I will be going to get the plastic out and start making us a tent for a moment. Well, as y'all can see, we've made it to the next stage here. Um, this is pretty much going to wrap up the sanding and the prep work part. Uh, next time you see the trailer, you were going to be painting on it. As you can tell, we've got a tent inside the shop. It's cold outside, and we needed to be able to continue working, so we've moved inside the shop and built us a paint booth this morning, and we're about to get back to work. Thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part three. Um, we'll see you all later.